Hi, I'm Karis Green. And I'm Cassidy Joe Fortin. And we're here to help you get your tech on. A one-stop shop for the latest apps, devices, and computer software. Bringing you the current trends in media and technology. This is Tech On. Welcome back, Titans. Hope you're excited for 2016. This episode is about the new gadgets that were popularized over the break and can help make your spring semester a little less hectic. Probably the most talked about event of the break, Star Wars. That's right, Star Wars The Force Awakens grossed $529 million on its opening weekend alone. And if you're sick of talking about Star Wars, too bad. We're going to be talking about the fictional technology that has been made real. And, better yet, Star Wars inspired tech that you can take home. This next product was created back in 2013, but theft is still on the rise at CSUF, and one of the most common items stolen on campus, laptops. This next device will make it possible to leave your laptop unattended when you go to the bathroom without having to harass a stranger to watch it for you. The Kensington Laptop Word Lock is essentially like a bike lock for your laptop. You insert the lock into the security slot, you create a four letter combination that you can remember, and then tether the six foot coil to any nearby desk leg or whatever you have. This last one is an app. If you're planning on getting scholarships for next semester, you'd better get started soon. Thankfully, the Scully Scholarship Search app is one of the many apps that can help with that. This app comes with filters that sort by major, state, deadline, and more. So you can see all the scholarships you're eligible for faster. Scholarly Scholarship Search is available on both iOS and Android. Now, what you've all, or at least some of you, have been waiting for, Star Wars technology in real life. There are so many Force Awakens electronics and toys, it's impossible to count. From BB-8s to action figures to custom lightsabers, this franchise has really taken hold of our free time. But some of the science fiction gadgets showcased in the films may be closer to realization than we thought. The land speeder, which was introduced in episode four, and the speeder bike introduced in episode six are the futuristic equivalents of cars and motorcycles in the Star Wars universe. In a national survey done by MyDevices.com, the hover or speeder bike is the number one device fans want to own, which you think would be the lightsaber, but that was beaten by 1%. Star Wars fans, you're in luck. Aerofex, based in California, has developed a hovercraft called the Aero X, which can hover above the ground and fly up to 45 miles per hour. That doesn't seem too fast compared to the speeder bikes in the films, or even your standard motorcycle. So if that's disappointing to you, head over to the UK for the Malloy Aeronomics Hoverbike. This sucker functions like a helicopter, keeping you at high altitudes and can fly at up to 170 miles per hour. Unfortunately, these are both still in the development stage, but Malloy or Aeronautics might give you a prototype if you donate to their website. The Consumer Electronics Show, or CES 2016, was held in Las Vegas on the 6th through the 9th. Among the showcases, Star Wars, of course. IGN highlighted some of the gadgets, including character-inspired USB stick drives and a life-sized 3D-printed Stormtrooper. Here are a few that stuck out. The 3D Plus Me toy company has technology that is capable of putting a consumer's face on action figures. This has been a feature in some Target store kiosks already, but the reveal at this convention, you can make yourself a Star Wars figure. The toys are called Super Awesome Me figures, and all you need to do is find a kiosk, scan your face, choose your character from Jedi to Spider-Man, and the order is sent off to later be delivered to your door. What do you think? I think it's so cool. Well, yeah, because who doesn't want to be a Jedi or a Stormtrooper? Sign me up. I want one right now. Yes. <laughs> The next item, BB-8. The little droid has quickly stolen the toy scene for diehard and neutral fans alike. There's already a ridiculous amount of toys. From figures to remote controlled BB-8s to apps that control the droid, it's endless. But it's easy to say, this one beats them all. Sparrow has developed a BB-8 that can be controlled by hand gestures alone. The Force Band is an armband developed by Sparrow to let the user move BB-8 using the Force. 
This product will be finished by autumn of 2016 according to Sparrow, which is the most ambiguous release date ever. Star Destroyer PC? Designer Sander van der Velden created a PC case mod that is an exact replica of the Empire Star Destroyers from the films. For those of you that do not know what a case mod is, case modding means to take the outer shell of a computer tower or video game console and transform it into something else aesthetically. So, instead of an ugly tower on your desk, you could have a computer that looks like Wally -E or Bender from Futurama, or a coffee maker apparently. These take months and months to make and usually need someone with engineering experience, so please don't take your computer apart and try this at home. And lastly, ILM, George Lucas's special effects company, developed a virtual reality experience app called ILM Experience Lab, available on the official Star Wars app. The current adventure is Jakku Spy. You star as a resistance secret agent on the desert planet Jakku from The Force Awakens. You need Google Cardboard Viewer in order to play the adventure, and is exclusively available at Verizon stores. All right, that's our show. Thank you for watching our Back to School Star Wars edition of Tech On. Tune in next time if you want the latest news in the tech world. I'm Karis Green. And I'm Cassidy Joe Fortin. See you next time.